Yeah, uh, you know, it was good off season, got a lot of good work in, but, you know, talking to a lot of the guys, you know, we're all motivated to get things started and, you know, get this thing rolling. Elite athletes always talk about getting 1% better each and every year. What's that 1% for you this year? Uh, I think it's just fine tuning my game, getting more consistent. Um, there were some times where I felt like, you know, some addicts got out of my hands, so as long as I can, you know, control what I can control and, you know, keep that as consistent as possible, uh, I think that will do well, especially for, over the course of the you know, full season. You still feel that you belong, that confidence is there, that comfort level on the mound for you? Yeah, no, definitely, uh, you know, you, you learn a lot in the first full season, ups and downs, uh, just getting in the hang of things, and uh, for me, you know, confidence is still there, and really excited to get going. How much did you work on the change of this offseason? Was that a point of emphasis at all? Yeah, uh, it was obviously a pitch that I threw less of with, you know, the slider coming into play last year, and I just want to be able to keep having that, you know, that fourth pitch or that, you know, something else to help keep hitters off balance. So um, coming into the offseason, it was something I want to improve on, and I uh, definitely worked really hard at it. Do you feel like this team is really hungry to push for the next step this year? Yeah, um, and this is just the pitchers that have gone in so far. I, I can't even wait, <clears throat> excuse me, sorry. Um, I can't even wait for the position players to come because just the few you know, guys that I've talked to so far, everyone's really itching to get in and get things started and kind of you know, get back to the playoffs and you know, hopefully get a lot further. How do you guys look at expectations for 2020? You know, a couple years ago, you probably surprised some folks in 18 and you get back to the playoffs last year. How do you look at it going into 2020 with, you know, you guys winning the division back to back years? Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, I guess the easy answer is, you know, obviously win the division and get back to the playoffs to, you know, make some noise. But uh, for me personally, it's, it's about just winning the game that you have right in front of you, you know, the day of, not trying to think too far ahead. It's a long season, and if you start looking, you know, all that ahead, you, you might get lost. So as long as we focus on winning, you know, the game that we have today or, you know, the day that we play, then I think we'll be really good off. You and Mike have a full year in a rotation in your belts now. How important is that now with Coles going to start the season on the IL? Julio's gone. How important is that, and do you think that will better prepare you guys? Uh, I think I think it, you know, obviously it would be nice to have him, but We've got a really a lot of really good talented guys here that you know can step up in big spots. So uh, I think the the more opportunity given, it's only going to be better for guys to you know be able to flourish and step into their own. And uh, one thing that I really like about this team is no matter what the situation or scenario, someone's going to normally go pick someone else up. So you know it's going to be probably a lot of times the unlikely hero, but there's always someone to. You know, when someone's not having the best day, someone's going to pick the other guy up. Early interactions with Darno and trying to get that comfort level. How long has it taken you in the past to kind of get in sync with the catchers? Uh, it's been really, actually, it's been really good. He's he's a he's a great guy. Uh, fortunate enough to play and you know was in the organization with his brother Chase when he was here. So, uh, got in contact with Chase this off season. Was able to get Travis's number, just kind of you know talk, say hey, but. Uh, since we've gotten here, I've thrown you know just one pen to him. Really like what you know I've seen so far. Works really hard, and I'm uh, really excited to get started.